Hey y'all, come spend a day in a life with me. So this is going to be a long, long video. So what I did is I break it up into different parts because it was a long day. So I took the day off and I dropped my daughter off to school, got my tank filled up because I will be heading to Fort Myers today. I went home, started to cook dinner, and after cooking dinner, I realized that I did have some laundry that I have to start and I wanted to clean up Sky's room before I leave because, again, I had the day off and I'm going to Fort Myers, but I wanted to go ahead and prepare dinner for my husband and clean up a little bit because Sky's at school and I'm not leaving until she get out of school. So this is me cooking and then just cleaning up, washing up the dishes, putting back everything where it belongs, and then this is me getting started on Sky's room. Now, when in Sky's room, and I didn't know where to start as always when I go in there everything is everywhere so I wanted to start with the bed now I wanted to turn her bed around and just change it up a little bit and I tried to do that but I couldn't because I guess with the mattress and the box spring it's hard and it's not enough space to move it around so I decided I'm going to pick it up put it to the side pick up the box spring put that to the side also and then I'm going to try to turn the bed. Now, before I could do that, under the bed was just a mess. Everything was under there. The books, the shoes, the clothes, everything was under there. So thank God I left up this mattress to go ahead and clean up all of that stuff. And it was a little bit dusty also. So I had to go ahead and get those boards sweep down and dust down. Now, guys, I don't know what's going on with these kids. Is there something that you can put next to the bed to block stuff from going under the bed because there's no way it's so much stuff should be under this girl's bed and i would have been looking for her shoes those are her school shoes well one of her school shoes i would have been looking for them and can't find them nowhere because i don't really look under the bed anyways i got the bed turned around made it and went to sweep and also sweep her mop and that was just one side of the room the other side was a hot mess with the books she ripped out all her boxes that i had the books in so i would have to buy a new bookshelf or another set of box because that one is all torn up anyways i left it because i need something to hold her books i wiped on her window paint i also pack up her shoes some of her clothes in her closet and then sweep and then just sweep her mop i also had a couple of learning stuff that i wanted to put up on her wall now she is good with most of them but some of them she do need to review so i'm gonna hang them on her wall so she can go over them every day and i also do need to buy new ones because she goes through them very quick as long as it's kind of like a song as you know when she go over them i let her go over them every day and then they're like a song in her head and she's really quick so she she gets them anyways i hang them up on the wall and then i went to finish up some laundry fold a couple clothes my husband works stuff and then i went to take me a shower because i had to go to the store now again this is part one of a long day so follow me or come back for part two and three and four because i had to break up these videos before I left, I went ahead and made me some iced coffee for the road because it's going to be about an hour and 45 minutes drive. And then I went to pick up Sky. Now, again, come back for another part of the video so you guys can see how I surprise my friend and decorate her room for her husband for her birthday. I had to put on some lip gloss because my lips was a little bit ashy. And then I went to go pick up Sky. Don't forget, come back for part two. 